Madrina's racing first up this preparation at Caulfield in the Quisette Stakes, a, a Group 3 for the for the fillies over 1,100 metres. It's a, a, a nice test for her at this grade. She's uh, no doubt stepping up in, in, in company here, but um, she was excellent at her last start at, at Randwick under the testing conditions. Uh, she's had a nice freshen up since then and um, had, had a nice... Uh, uh, a, a nice hit out over the over the Flemington jump outs in preparation for this where she looked particularly sharp so she should be nice and forward if she can handle the step up in grade I think she'll she'll run an excellent race. Shangri-La Express returns to racing um, first up in, in the Rosebud Stakes at Rose Hill Gardens on, on the weekend this is the first time we've seen him since since his run in, in the Golden Slipper uh, he had, had an excellent lead up campaign to that point uh, was obviously disappointing in that run but uh, certainly feel he can be forgiven for that. Uh, he looks to have returned in, in good order. He is forced to carry big weight uh, because of his consistency at, at two, carrying 60 kilos. Uh, not going to be an easy task for him, uh, but I do feel he's, he's back in good order and it's a nice kick-off point to, to set him up for a, for a positive campaign. Caboo's returning to the races off a, off a relatively quick turnaround and a short freshen up. Uh, but his trial in, in the lead-up to, to this run was particularly sharp. I, I thought he looked excellent, did everything right, and, and was very good through the line. Uh, it looked to be the Caboo of old, uh, the horse that we haven't quite quite seen show up in his form in, in, in recent runs, but um, do feel he's working working nicely, and if he can bring that trial form to the races on Saturday, that should see him being very competitive. Dawn Service was, was excellent, uh, breaking his maiden uh, in, in, in what was a, a really impressive uh, dominant performance at Hawkesbury there last start he appreciated the, the step up in trip uh, the addition of the blink has just really switched him on and helped keep him focused in, in that run um, it was particularly sharp uh, last 600 metres of, of the race so hopefully we can see him face similar conditions on Saturday I'd like to see an improving track for him uh, he's got a nice draw and got good tactical speed uh, so I think he can. Uh, he's ready to take that next step and, and show nice progression he's no doubt a quality horse Forrester Gump is, is racing second up uh, this campaign in maiden plate over the 1,400 metres. He raced first up over the 1,200. I, I thought it was excellent. He stuck on very well at, at Wyong. He's a horse that I think will appreciate uh, getting out to a, a bigger track of of Kembla Grange. Uh, that should really suit, and, and most importantly, the uh, getting out of distance. He's a horse that will only going to continue to improve as he gets over gets over further later in the campaign, but uh, this looks to be a nice natural stepping stone for him and uh, he's very competitive first up and I'll just ex expect that once again. We've been very patient waiting to see Mystery of Paris here first up uh, on, on debut. Um, racing at Wyong, uh, 1100 metres, maiden race for the four year olds and, and above. Uh, she's trialed up nicely on, on this occasion uh, and, and I thought she goes here particularly forward and, and ready for this uh, ready for this debut performance. Uh, she's been sharp in her work. Um, obviously lacks that, 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 that experience and exposure at this point of her career, but um, she looked nice and, and professional in, in, in her trials and, and did everything right, showing good good tactical speed where I think that'll uh, no doubt be in her favour at this particular track.